Aloha, it's Tani here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make kalua pork in two different ways, using an instant pot and the oven. So no matter which cookie method you prefer, I've got you covered. So let's get started. Here are the following ingredients. Let's start with more of the home-cooked traditional way, the oven. First, score the three pound pork butt with a diamond pattern. Do it to both the top and bottom sides. Doing this will help the salt and liquid smoke penetrate the pork. Rub the salt into the pork on all sides. Set it in a pan and pour the liquid smoke all over the pork. Cover with foil. Bake it in the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for three to four hours or until it is fork tender. In the meantime, drizzle some oil in a saute pan. Let the oil heat up for a bit and add in some chopped cabbage and stir fry it until the leaves are nicely cooked. Take the pork out of the oven and check if it is fork tender. Fork tender is if the fork is able to easily slide through the pork without much resistance. The pork will be nice and tender and ready to be easily shredded with two forks. Then add in the sautéed cabbage and mix it with the pork. Serve it hot and enjoy. The next method is the instant pot. First, select the saute setting. Brown the three pound pork butt. Doing this will bring out more flavors and create a little browning on the bottom of the pan. Once all sides have been browned, remove from the pot and add in the water. Scrape the brown stuff from the bottom. Then add in the liquid smoke and half of the salt. Stir to mix it together. Add the pork back into the pot and top it off with the remaining salt. Close the instant pot and select the pressure cook button. Make sure it is on high and set it to cook for 90 minutes or an hour and a half. In the meantime, saute some chopped cabbage. Cook until all of the leaves are soft. Once the timer for the Instant Pot goes off, let the pressure naturally release or until the metal pin drops. Open the lid and take the pork out. The pork will be nice and tender and ready to be easily shredded with two forks. Once it has been shredded, add the cabbage and mix it in with the pork. Add back in some of that delicious juice from the pot to moisten up the pork. 
keep adding back the juices to taste. Serve it hot and enjoy this Onalicious Kahlua pork.